This is Politics Live. Joining me today, Conservative Police and Crime Commissioner for Surrey, Lisa Townsend. Let's talk about nitrous oxide, uh, laughing gas, and whether or not it should be banned. BBC News story, uh, nitrous oxide, laughing gas should not be banned, says the review. That was from the Independent Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs, who've stopped short of recommending a ban of the sale and possession of nitrous oxide. It's certainly something the government had been looking into. The review was commissioned, actually, by the previous Home Secretary, uh, Priti Patel. Right, we're seeing uh, pictures here of canisters being discarded. Uh, um, causing, obviously, litter, but also environmental uh, problems. Lisa, you're a police and crime commissioner. Do you think it should be banned? Well, I'm a favour of evidence-based policing and evidence-based legislation, particularly when it comes to drugs, because we know it's a really, really emotive subject. And whether it's cannabis that we're talking about or NOS canisters, and those canisters, actually, it's interesting, he talks about sort of city centres and, and festivals. Mm. Um, you, you speak to any of the residents in Surrey and they'll be used to seeing them, including around the very rural parts. Um, I absolutely welcome the council's review. I think it's, it's really, really important that we do look into this. And there are, I, I slightly take issue with this idea that it's, it's relatively benign because we know that actually um, a lot of the side effects are really quite dangerous, including potentially death. Policing recently carried out some research nationally into this, and what we're seeing is an increase in road accidents, including serious and fatal accidents, uh, where nitrous oxide has been a factor because somebody has been driving under the influence. Now, we wouldn't accept that, obviously, with alcohol or other drugs, and we shouldn't be accepting it here. But the issue is we know that it's, it's banned to supply. You can't legally supply it for psychedelic purposes, but you mm. can buy it. And where I'd like to see actually some change is that um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be a ban I'm very reluctant to ban things when until we've got proper evidence showing that that is the best way of tackling it I don't believe it's the best way of tackling um, drugs when it comes to cannabis but I really really welcome the review and I'm sure that the Home Secretary will look at it and take the right decision yeah and it seems that the Home Secretary would quite like to uh, ban it if it were banned would police have resources to enforce it well this is why again I think if we can ban the if we can ban the buying of it, if we can make it illegal to purchase it for psychedelic purposes, then what you'll do is you'll immediately stop that, that sort of demand and that supply, and that will help policing. But actually, a huge issue with it, um, you know, take away the, the, the set of health side effects, is it's linked to antisocial behaviour. Mm. And I think the government's absolutely right to, to looking at antisocial behaviour in the way it is very seriously at the moment, and we are expecting uh, more to come out about that soon. All right. That's where we see it linked. Just on the broader point about banning drugs, mm. it, 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 what do you think? Does it ever really work when you listen to what uh, the professor just said? Well, clearly what we've been doing for the last you know, 50 years, 100 years doesn't work. Um, and I do, th I do welcome reviews into this. And it's very, very difficult because it's a very emotive subject. But particularly when it comes to things like cannabis and like nitrous oxide, we do need to be led by the evidence that's coming from the experts. And I'm afraid on this, not necessarily politicians.